can we talk about you for two seconds? That's why you're pleased. You're here. Can we talk about you? I mean, please, let's get to you. Can you... we talk about you for two oh, just seconds? Just two seconds, please. All right. Uh, you, you play uh, Roy, Roy Cohn. Roy who's... Cohn. There he is. America's sweetheart. Roy Cohn. <laughs> it says the worst human being who ever lived. Yeah. This is by Frank God, Frank it Rich. looks like a character from A Bug's Life. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I'm sure this he's... This is a I'm sure he's smiling in hell right now. Throwing a... <laughs> Throwing a cocktail party for Hitler and Mussolini, telling them, <laughs> telling them where they went wrong. Yeah, uh, Roy Cohn. I, I don't know. How do you describe? Well, him? for those of you who don't know, he he made his reputation as mainly for, as being chief counsel for Joe McCarthy during the communist witch hunts, and somehow how he survived that and came back to New York and became a very successful lawyer and power broker. Yeah. And but he was yes, he was a reprehensible, vile. Person. I mean, if he, if if you were a friend of his, he was very loyal and loving. But you wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of Roy Cohn. And certainly, at what, how he's really known now is as uh, Trump's uh, lawyer and and mentor. He sort of that's what that article, that's which right. is a great article by Frank Rich, yeah. uh, which uh, talks about Roy Cohn and how he ushered Trump into. New York society and well, and you know like... the tactics of never surrender, never admit defeat. E e you know, even when you lose, declare victory, counterattack, and hit them ten hit times harder. harder. And control you know, the when press. All, and yes, yes, control the press. And when all else fails, lie. And and certainly, he Trump has learned those tactics <laughs> yeah. from the Roy Cohn playbook, and oh, except it comes out in a cruder fashion. Uh, if we hear the stories that this guy did, did oh, he yeah. have his lawyer fake a heart attack? Yes, a... yes, he was on one of the many ethics violations and he was in danger of being disbarred. Um, he had his lawyer fake a heart attack. He asked him to clutch his heart. He dropped to the floor. Paramedics ran in, dragged him out, and then he took over and he gave a five-hour summation, swayed the jury, and, and got off. So he was resourceful. He was... <laughs> yeah, resourceful. He was quite brilliant if only he had used it for good rather than wow. evil. Uh, well, you, you, you knock it out of the park. I mean, Thank you. But you do, you get all these, I mean, these great, these fantastic roles. I mean, this is... Oh, well, you know, it, I, you know it, I'm very lucky and fortunate to have been in this, but, uh, you know, I also have a great agent. He's also a, a Russian oligarch. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's how you get your role? Yeah, Boris Bedinsky, you oh. know him? <laughs> I, I, I never Boris heard Bedinsky, of him. Boris yeah. Bedinsky, yeah, yeah. And Putin must like him because so far he still has most of his face. Oh, that's so um, nice. But Boris Bedinsky, you think it's hard getting your agent on the phone? I have to call the Kremlin. <laughs> and his secretary, Olga, has a real attitude. Yeah. But I can't complain because no. he's very sweet. Every, every year on my birthday, he sends me a stray dog and a part of someone's ear. Oh, is that yeah. th so thoughtful? Oh, yeah, he's that sentimental is, that way. That is so. But here's what I figured out. <laughs> That, you know, he's my agent, so I have to give him 10%, but he sends a percentage of that to Putin, who sends a percentage of that to Michael Cohen, who sends a percentage of that to Stormy Daniels. So essentially, I'm, I'm paying Trump's hush money. <laughs> oh, my God, that's why... I'm glad you did the math on that. If you do the if math. you do the math on that, you figure it out. Uh, Nathan, this is your... Is this your sixth, uh, sixth time you're nominated for Tony? Yes, yes, it is. It's the first time. Yes, I, I, I'm. I, you know, this is a. It's, it's a, a very deal. meaningful. It's yeah. the culmination of a lot of work, and and you know these nominations are great. Now I love the Tony Awards. They're they're just like the Oscars, if the Oscars had a, a fabulous queer eye makeover. <laughs> and, <laughs> And I look forward to the after party where I get to explain who Roy Cohn was to the Mean Girls. <laughs> but the, yes, but if you're going to the Oscars, they, there are some do's and don'ts. I've written Tony's. them down. Some Tony Awards. I know you'll be. You went to the Met Gala. I'm sure you'll go full tilt gay and go to the Tony Awards. Oh my God! <laughs> so here are the do's. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love Here you, are the man. do's and don'ts. These are the do's and don'ts. You it, might want to write some of these down. If before, you're going to the Tony Award. Before the show, save time by injecting Chardonnay directly into your veins. No, I'll tell you. That's a good one. Do wax everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Okay, all right. Thank you for telling uh, me. Don't point and laugh during the in memoriam segment. Don't thank Mike Pence in your acceptance speech. Oh, no, yeah, no. Don't try to take the flask out of Angela Lansbury's hands. Because <laughs> that could get that ugly. That could get ugly. Jeez. Try, yeah. Try to remember to tip Kevin Spacey at the coat check. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. I see. <laughs> see, we're, we're feeling, feeling sentimental about <laughs> Kevin Owen. <laughs> And finally, three words, spank, spank, spank. Spanks, there you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. The one and only Nathan Lane. Angel.
represent America. Uh huh. So on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's so on and on and on.